Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health and today I want to give you a quick overview of hearing aids, modern day hearing aids and how the majority of them work on Bluetooth. Now I think that this is a very bad idea because when you've got Bluetooth so close in your ears, so close to your brain and they communicate with each other, you know, science has shown that that can cause a whole host of problems. So I was actually driving in the car yesterday with someone who has hearing aids and they were charging them. When I lay down to sleep last night, I noticed that the tinnitus in my ear had come back and I wondered where did I get an exposure? Because when I have an elevated radio frequency exposure, that's my first sign is that I get the tinnitus, the ringing in my ears. And then I remembered that this person that was in my car was charging their hearing aids. So I actually have a, the set right here. So I was curious to see if this is what was emitting. So I'm gonna turn on my Safe and Sound Pro 2 meter to see if we're getting any readings from this hearing aid set. So right off the bat, I can hear it actually. Um, and there are no other uh, devices on inside this room. So as I bring my meter close to the charging station, I'm getting about 750 microwatts per square meter. Now remember, we want this number under 10 microwatts per square meter, and I'm getting the highest number I've gotten is 850. So if I open the case, I'm getting about 1,090. And if I take the hearing aids out, whoa, I'm getting a spike I'm getting around 4,590 microwatts per square meter, and the highest number I got was 8,310. So, like I said, I think this is a very bad idea to use Bluetooth. The person who uses these does not control them with his phone. So therefore, what is the point of having Bluetooth? Because that is the reason why they put Bluetooth on hearing aids, so that you can control the volume and different things on your phone. This person doesn't do that, so there's no reason to continue to get this radio frequency communicating through his brain while he's wearing these. You can get hearing aids that do not have Bluetooth, and that is absolutely what I would recommend. It takes a little work to hunt them down, but I will leave a link below to show you what resources that you may have. If you have a hearing impairment and you need hearing aids, I strongly suggest you do not use Bluetooth, but rather that you use the old school ones that do not have this radio frequency function. Um, so that is it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave any questions you have below. And of course, please subscribe to my channel if you found this helpful. See you guys. Bye.